So if you're like me, you might still have an AOL account hanging on there and you might have an iPhone that's giving you an account error. It doesn't allow you to download your new email. Well, this video is going to go through and show you exactly how to fix that. There is a new way to do it and I'm going to go ahead and address that today. And it doesn't matter how many times you try putting your password in, it'll look like it'll accept it, but it just won't take it. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin with HelpfulTutorials.net. If you like iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials, this is the channel for you. Please do me a favor and smack that subscribe button. would really appreciate it. With that, let's go ahead and dive right in and get this set up because I know you've been dealing with not having email. So we are going to flash back to one of my spam accounts. Basically, I call it that because anytime I want to sign up for something I don't want to get an email from, this is the account I use. Nowadays, I use newer emails like Gmail. But AOL, you know, I've had it for so long, it's hard to part with. So here we are, and we can see I did get some emails, and then about a month ago, it just stopped. And if you look at the bottom, it says account error. So if I tap on that, it's going to say no password provided. Please go to mail, account settings, and enter a password. Now, this is not going to fix it because there's an issue that is on AOL side that we have to take care of. We are going to want to go ahead and add a new password so we can go ahead and choose settings in the meantime and get us to that screen. And what we'll do is we'll put this to the side until we get to the part where we need to enter the password. It may seem confusing, but it's not too difficult. So just hang on. <laughs> You're going to need a computer or open this up on desktop view if it allows you to. You want to go to AOL.com and log in. Once you've logged in and you see a billion ads, because that's all AOL is now, go ahead and click on your name and it's going to go ahead and take you to your personal information. On the left hand side here, it says account security, recent activity and preferences. What we want to do is go ahead and choose account security. Now what we're going to have to do is create another password. Yes, just what you need in your life, right? Another password. <laughs> so what we need to do is choose generate app password. And that's gonna be a password just for the iPhone that we're gonna enter one time. Now you can go ahead and select the drop down menu and see if your options available here. So we do have an iPhone and it's iPhone mail. So we're gonna go ahead and select iPhone mail. And we're gonna choose generate. So here's your app password. Unfortunately, I'm on a computer. So what I have to do is I have to email it to myself using a different email to get the password or I could type it in. So I'm gonna type it in. Remember, there are no spaces in this password. Yes, AOL is very intelligent nowadays. They put three spaces in between this. Why do they do this? Well, because they charge money for technical support and they want you to call. So let's delete the password and then all lowercase, I'm gonna type in what's on the screen. Once complete, I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. All check marks. Let's go back to the mail and see if it's working. We're going to pull down and see if we get a new email. And there we go. It's coming through great. So now we have our email all updated and it's going to flood in because I'm missing about a month's worth. So that's great. <laughs> so that is a way of doing it. Now, keep in mind from time to time, if there's any problems here and you have issues, you're going to want to go back and regenerate a password and re-enter this. So if it starts happening again, Come back, make sure you uh, subscribe, <laughs> you know, like this video, because if you like it and you come back later, you see that it's liked, hey, now you know it works. And you'll be able to quickly go back in and get it back set up. You may even want to add it to watch later if that's the case. Before I go, I just have one question. How many new emails did you have come in? And thank you so much for watching. 